Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, today I'm going to continue the spec flow tutorial series. We already recorded the video to install uh, the spec flow in the Visual Studio and this article is complete. It contains all the steps to install uh, spec flow in the Visual Studio and run. So this is the step by step process like how can you install the Visual Studio, uh, how can you download the Visual Studio and how can you install. So let me let me continue the brief introduction about the installation of the spec flow then we'll continue step by step process like for what are the uh, content we are going to cover in this complete video series so to uh, at, at the very first step you need to install the visual studio in your machine so you can directly uh, hit this link and just open this community edition if you're going to use it free and uh, install to install the spec flow just open it just navigate to the tool section go to online and search here for the spec flow then download it after this you need to restart your system so restart your uh, node system you need to restart your visual studio so it will uh, install that uh, spec flow plugin and then you need to create a new project and so you can create a new project over there and then you need to install a plugin for the <coughs> nougat from the nougat package manager for the spec flow so you can search it so this post will help you to understand like how can you install how can you set up this thing so if you get any kind of error so you can combine uh, you, you you can follow this combination of the version so it will not going to uh, problem you to like uh, this is the tested version so you can use this combination spec flow so you can use the spec flow 2.3 2.3 and this uh, spec flow 2.3 will work with any unit 3.6 better and the selenium 3.14 so you can use this so if you're gonna <coughs> find this kind of error this is the solution for this and here is the complete video <coughs> for this installation process so you can follow this video also it will show you uh, like from the first step how can you download it how can you install it this is the complete out now let's discuss if you gonna install this and we are gonna start the learning spec flow and going to start the VDD automation before it let's understand what our aim in this tutorial series so uh, this will contain the BDD automation definitions like what are the BDD automation if uh, the TDD is already there so why we need to BDD then what is a Gherkin language uh, the word what is Gherkin and what are the different features background given keywords like when then and what why we use these keywords in this uh, BDD automation and what is the spec flow and what are the tables in the spec flow scenario context in the spec flow how can you perform how can you achieve the data driven automation in the spec flow and you already seen this installation so uh, this all the topics will cover with the practical examples and uh, will 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 cover uh, with the practical example so let's understand the very first step what is a bdd automation so <coughs> what we need to do like when we are going to perform the automation we need to understand the test case so test case if what if the test case is in the simple language like a human man a human being can understand the language so the bdd comes in picture like you can say you, you can see the definition bdd automation is a bridge between the technical and the non-technical people around the application let's understand the concept of bdd automation in detail so bdd is a technique or we can say a way of programming a way of establishing established collaboration between the stakeholder developer and tester so the main aim to understand like what we are going to automate what are the test cases are there so simply bdd is a format to writing test case in a english language or you can say in a gherkin language so what are the tools available to perform the BDD tools, uh, BDD automation? So we have Cucumber if you're gonna work with Java. So we have Cucumber, Specflow if you're gonna work with .NET, Jasmine, and Serenity MMM Spec. <coughs> so in this series, we'll focus on the Specflow. So what is the test-driven 
development like the test driven development is directly tdd operates right directly test case in the code in the any programming language which is not understandable for the non technical user so it's a tdd approach bdd approach right test case in a human language in english language or you can say in a gherkin language which is under which is understandable for the non technical person which can be your stakeholder so it will be understandable for your clients so they can understand what they are what what we are going to work and what we are going to perform so <clears throat> it will be more productive and they can make changes according to their need so for tdd also we have two like j unit test ng and n unit here also in the spec flow at the back end we are going to use n unit so what are the advantage the most important question what are the advantage of the bdd automation so it will be easy to understand for the non technical user so this is the first advantage then if we fill the gap between the automation engineer and the stake over uh, stake owner and transparent process like uh, everyone everyone can read the test case understand the test case and check the um, work what we are going to perform and providing the strong collaboration so things to remember about the automation bdd automation all the bdd automation tool follow the gherkin format so we'll discuss about this what is the gherkin format and <clears throat> the most demanding bdd automation tool are the cucumber and the spec flow these days cucumber for the java and spec flow is a uh, you can say uh, spec flow is a cucumber for the for the dot net so cucumber for the java and the spec flow for the c sharp let's say dot net so now let's have a brief introduction about the gherkin language so what is the gherkin language so as i discuss uh, as i told you like uh, we need a test case writing in a simple language so gherkin is a language which provide uh, which is used to write test case for the bdd automation so let's understand a simple like a gherkin language example is there so my scenario is to add two numbers like i have to perform automation to add two number so we are using some keyword there which is the given and when then we'll understand this keyword in detail at the very first <coughs> given will use to have any precondition like i have to enter 50 into the calculator so what will be my process or uh, what will be my approach to add two numbers i have to enter the first number i have to enter the second number then i have to press the add or some like plus button and then i can see the result so uh, in this whole process um, i have two precondition like i have to enter a number i have to enter the another number which is my v and then i have to perform some action which is to press the add uh, press a button then i can see the result so this is the simple like uh, given i have i have entered 50 into my calculator and again precondition i have entered 70 into the calculator and it when it comes to action we can use the when when i press 8 button then uh, the result should be 120 so then you mm, like if you notice then will come at the verification part we are going to use assertions so this is the simple format for the gherkin language in more detail we'll see in the upcoming tutorials so that will be easy to understand so what are the keywords which use in the gherkin language so the very first given keyword as i discussed given is used as a precondition like if you are going to write a test case so what will be your precondition which will come under the given and the given uh, we can add <coughs> add uh, and and if we have multiple preconditions so we can use the end there like this and when when it's used to perform some event some action like if we take example of login process so what are the precondition for the login so given i have i have user is on the login page when user enter and uh, like like we can say the login process user is on the login page and i enter a username and i enter the password and when i press the login button then i can see user is able to uh, or able to log in successfully so this will be the code test case for the login process so i hope the given and when and then is clear and the background Thing we'll understand in the upcoming tutorial what as uh, with the, with the example like background will use at the very top of the feature file and the scenario what is the scenario and the what are the scenario outlines we'll discuss in 
upcoming set so your or will provide the link in the description box so you can move there uh, you can come to codec.com and you can check this complete articles there so what are the dents and what are the veins we are going to use okay <clears throat> so in the next tutorial i will continue with the spec flow installation like installation is already done i guess so we'll continue with the introduction with the spec flow what are the uh, what is the spec flow and how it will use these uh, things and what are the feature files they over there then we'll come to <coughs> table and we'll perform this uh, practically thing also so thank you so much for watching if you like please share uh, if you like the tutorial and you can